WrestleMania, a unique concept that the Churchville Chai Lai wrestling team has implemented into their season this year to spice things up for both wrestlers and spectators. By moving their matches onto their school's Performing Arts Center, they hope to make it more than just a mat on a gym floor. Well, holding it in the Performing Arts Center makes it more of a production, more of entertainment. It brings more of a spotlight to the sport of wrestling that doesn't always get the spotlight. The new venue also presents a refreshing change for the wrestlers, something that not many sports are able to do. The Performing Arts Center is a, it's a blessing. It really is. Um, the gyms are nice, but it's basketball floors. It's always going to be basketball floors. So to have it on a stage with lights and fog and dim, it's just, it's a great feeling. Well, you know, most wrestling events take place in the gym. Uh, gym basically centers around basketball. It's always been basketball. In here, it's a little different. We are now on the stage, different venue. Uh, lights are interactive now, lasers, uh, possibly smoke, fog, whole nine yards. So it becomes more of a show. Yeah. It is a little more of a show, but I think that uh, gives a little more entertaining value for the fans. The atmosphere of the Performing Arts Center is just crazy. You have wild fans clapping from the, the stands. It's just a great feeling. The idea was brought back to Churchville Chai Lai by a few of the wrestlers after seeing it at the University of Buffalo, the soon-to-be home of 2016 Section 5 champion Ty Raines. This, uh, this came about from uh, a couple of our wrestlers who uh, went out to watch the um, Cornell University Buffalo wrestling match. So they had uh, an event where they actually did something similar on the stage. They had called it uh, Mayhem on the Main Stage, I believe it was. So Ty Raines, uh, Nate Sanborn, and then Bill Sanborn went out. And when they came back, they said, hey, we got something we should check out. And uh, Bill had pitched it to, to Mike Murray. This was probably about a year ago, so it's been something in the works. And uh, this is where we are. It took quite a bit of, of, of work to, to plan this, but I, I couldn't have been more happier. The Churchville Chai Lai team is full of talent, like Hunter Potts, who recently won his 100th match and joined the school's Century Club. It was a major major goal of mine to get that 100th win. Uh, many wrestlers hope to achieve that milestone, but very few do. So I'd have to say I owe it all to my coaching staff and my family. Uh, this year, personally, I would like to make it to the state tournament. I would like to do well at the states. Um, I feel like I am a state caliber wrestler, and I want to prove that to myself and all my peers. It's no surprise the family bond that the Saints team has. Head coach Justin Raines has three sons on the team. Two families, one team, one goal. Yeah, so uh, we have a really tight team as a bond, and uh, we have a great coaching staff with my dad and my brothers coming through the program, and we just, uh, we just work hard every day and just uh, achieve our goals. And it's a, it's a tough dynamic. Yeah. Um, it's it's rewarding to some degree because obviously you have a, a direct input on on their lives and stuff, and uh, there's also the balance of trying to be dad and coach at the same time. But uh, I think um, they've managed well. I uh, got great advice from my wrestling coach, Bill Jacato. Uh, from Spencerport and he said Justin the best thing to do is when wrestling ends you become your dad when you get home it, it's done so I've tried to, to honor that and I think it's worked really well. Yeah we started out my seventh grade with only 12 guys and after that my dad took over and just the word got out and the team started building and tighter bonds and just people saw and they want to jump on board and right now here we are today. Seeing where it came from, it came from very few wrestlers. Now we have numbers that we even didn't imagine beforehand. And uh, so I would like to say that the team, I feel like just going out strong, finishing the season, and um, giving it all we have. That strong family dynamic on and off the mat has translated into success for the team, earning them an honorable mention on the dual meet state rankings. Um, yeah, that's a uh, second year in a row, so it's like, it's a really good feeling, and uh, when I first started in seventh grade, we had like 12 kids, so just starting there and then being where we are now, it's a great feeling. With more events like WrestleMania, the school hopes more students will be inclined to join the program as the current team looks to qualify for states. 
Well, we're, we're all about the kids, you know, and I think we already know that this, the kids are really pumped up to do this. Uh, they're excited to be on stage. You know, wrestling is a sport that we always need to recruit. It's a tough sport. It's pretty grueling uh, day in and day out, being on the mat all winter long. So we, we definitely hope it improves our roster numbers. Personally, I like to keep keep working hard and uh, to peak at the end of the season to win the state title. It's a huge goal of mine as a team. You know, coming from a very small program to building it up to where it is and now to be an honorable bench in the state, I'd like to keep it going, uh, maybe even get ranked in the state. So does the school plan to do this more often? We hope to. We're hoping to make it an annual event. We'll see how this one goes. Uh, this is the first go around, so uh, we'd love to. From Churchville, Chile, this is Kyle O'Gara for the Vision High School Sports Beat.